Alright, uh, time to play an mission made by uh, Eisenberg GR. And the title mission it's Judas, which is uh, his uh, 47 mission of uh, his uh, Tommy Versetti story series. So, yeah, one, two. And I'm gonna highlight this mission. God damn, it's taking a while, man. I'm gonna run this mission right now. Nonetheless. Shit, man, it's too close, my mic. Marco Bistro, eat until you explode. Oh, Tommy's getting there. Hey, Tommy! What's the big deal, Sonny? Don't you see it's raining? How you doing? Fine, you call me for a job, Sonny, remember? Yeah, of course. It's not a big deal or not, and not risky. We have the location of Leonis underboss and he'll be alone. I want you to take him out. No shit, and how do you know he'll be alone in his lo location? I have my source. He's in the Harvood junkyard. Shoot, shove a bullet in his head. And why me? You could give this job to Giorgio or someone else. Because I want you to become famous in Liberty City after that action. I'm proud of you. Alright, Sonny. As you wish. Here there, now. Kill that son of a bitch and after that you call me, okay? Alright, Sonny. See you later. Oh my god, I have a bad feeling about this, man. Harvu Junkyard. Damn you. I mean, I already played Vice City even before. I already know what it will lead me to. I mean, Harvu Butcher. Yeah, I remember very well that nickname. God damn, this is some serious lag here. Yo, 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 what the fuck, man? Yeah, by the way, the frame rate is not really consistent. It's mostly like depends where you are, man. Well, just like in the orig original game, that is. Uh oh. Tommy's ready for a kill. But he doesn't know what to expect. Soon. My god. Sonny Forley sent his regards, brick. Where the fuck are you going? Oh no. Oh shit, I'm surrounded. I mean, Tommy's surrounded. It's a setup. Damn it. So, where should I go, man? Kill the Leonis in Dacos. Oh shit. Yo, they don't have a headshot option, really? Thanks a lot, man. Ali Whoa, what the fuck? I'm surrounded like shit, man. One dead, at least. It's better than nothing. Yo, look at that lag, man. Yo, how come it my shot doesn't hit him? Maybe it does, but, you know, it's taking fucking a while, man. Or maybe he has a lot of HP, I don't know. Yeah, he does has a lot of HP. 
Look at the, the, the amount of time I have to reload, man. Is it intentional or what? Oh no, you don't. There you go. On our dead. I think it's intentional. I think uh, the other just want to show us that, uh, you know, uh, those enemies are actually like uh, some of the elite members of the specific family or something like that. Shit, man. There I go. What are you doing? Just die, bastard. Yeah, I know. I think it's a glitch here. I know. But you know what? I don't care, man. I just want to end this. Yo, how come my shot doesn't go through, man? What the fuck, man? Something's wrong, man. There you go. They're all dead, man. Now what? Well, there's one dot, red dot here. I think there's one still alive. Yeah, this is the guy here I'm looking for. Yeah, sorry, Otter. I, kn I know this is a glitch, but, you know, it's part of the game, man. I can help myself here. I'm still breading. Come on! Kill that son of a bitch. Yo, shit, how many waves I have to go through, man? Yeah, and with the weather, it's not that easy as well because, you know, it's kind of dark and... You kinda, the, some of the enemies kind of blend with the background and all that shit, man. And this... This thing is confusing because you cannot tell like where if he's actually hitting the enemy or not, man. Silly hit detection here. Come on, die, man. What the fuck? Man? How many times do I have to reload that shit, man? Yo, I was shooting to his head and he doesn't do a damn thing. I don't think this is the best spot, man, to kill the enemies, man. It's just weird as fuck. There you go. I mean, I have to reload so many times, man. Come on, just die. Freeze! Don't fucking move, bast asshead! Mm. I got surrounded. Hey, where those cops are coming from, by the way? Do you just went there and that's it? <laughs> I think Tommy's angry. I mess it up. He will get his revenge against Sonny. And yeah, that's pretty much the other mission. Stay tuned, I was going to play another mission very soon. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jason K uh, playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Time Edition. Today, gonna play. Mi I mean, uh, United Diamond Edition, and today, gonna play a mission made by uh, by uh, Heisenberg GR, and the title mission is uh, Epilogue, Epilogue, which is uh, his uh, final mission of uh, his. Uh, Tommy Versetti story series. So yeah. When I waste a fair time, go to like this mission. I have a feeling this is this is gonna be the longest mission ever, man. Because I saw the files, and yeah, it's pretty big, man. 
Of course, like the file is mostly about text, but still, I can tell by the loading time already. Uh, what is this? Water? As background? 15 years later. Vice City! Oh my god, it's Vice City! Yo, this is the only mission, uh, Vice City 1986. It's the only mission where you, you're actually like having action in the Vice City, man. All the all the other mission was only in Liberty City. But then again, you know, if you follow the sort of storyline, Tommy was stuck in Liberty City, like while being in prison until like 15 years later, where he goes to Vice City to get you know revenge. Well, not only that, he has to, you know, do the job for Sonny as well, but he betray him later on. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy? I have 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit risky of family etiquette. Always angry, eh, Tommy? Did I say your temper will get you into trouble, huh? There's three million in the case. How many was it? Ten? Hell no. Eleven, man. That's how you get to be called the Harvard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man. They knew I was coming, Sonny. Tommy, Tommy, watch your tone. Anyone will think you blamed me for the fortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled a string, calling favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hope you see, you see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappoint me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? Sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. Out, Tommy, I saw you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. Tommy, what's the big plan? You think I just take the fake cash? Save face and run away with my tail between my legs? No, I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. Ooh. The four you are trying to steal your money, defend the safe. Oh, at least I have an M4. It's a better start for me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Those guys are powerful, man. No kidding. But the accuracy is not very good, man. Well, it doesn't matter. Yo, I'll just grab any weapons I can find. AK-47 and 4, it doesn't really matter to me, man. Of course, it cannot reload more with AK-47, but uh, you know what? I'll deal what I have here. I mean, for like those two weapons, like even if it's reload faster AK-47, I don't think it's a huge game changer for me, man. To how to kill the enemies and all that. Come on, you pricks! I'm going there. And yeah, of course this mission it's pretty much similar to the final mission of Vice City. I mean it's the same dialogue and all that. It's not very original what I want to say, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I mean at least D 
the other managed to recreate the whole mission in the United Time engine here. And for those who are like uh, really want to put like those Sandrias mods into the GTA United uh, map mod, well, that will be a good opportunity to do that. No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Go and kill Lance Vance, the backstabber. And by the way, he also said before that, uh, oh, you think so? But the other dis didn't uh, put this dialogue for some unknown reason. Maybe it's just too many texts for nothing. Alright, cool. Hey, fuck. I still got an AK-47, man. Oh, okay, I understand. I mean, if for each section here, it seems that uh, my health has got refilled and all my ammo got reset. Well, not really reset, but it just got like to the default uh, number of ammo. So that's why I just lost my AK-47 earlier before I managed to regrab it from the dead enemies. Alright, I'm back guys. Got interrupted. Uh, okay, yeah, it's pretty much the same strategy as the original uh, mission in which this mission is based off. So yeah, there's not there's not much surprise going on here because I already played by city, so I know what to do. Sure, like we did with the other making this mission, things can be a little bit different, especially with the time engine limitation but uh, I know my way still all right cool time to die there you go he's dead oh shit I was careless man okay oh shit I hate this part I don't think those crates gonna last forever, man. I'll just have to kill. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Need to cover myself here. Yeah, come on, shoot, man. Okay, now he's doing nothing. All right, cool. Shit, that's not a lot of HP, man. I think it's 250, man. This is the last dance for Lance Vance. Yeah, it rhymes. Really? Kill the four LEs. Alright, cool. I'm surprised that, uh, you know, Tommy's wearing the same clothes even 15, 15 years later. But then again, you know, there's only like uh, one actor for Tommy Versetti. Along with, uh, you know, all the, all the four LEs members, including Sonny. Alright, cool. But I was wondering what happened to the other members of the family, you know, the four LAs. I don't see them anymore, man. Did they die or something? Or they just don't care about their boss? Maybe they don't care about their boss, but anyways. I don't really care, man. I just want to end this. There we go. You took 15 years from me, Sonny. And now I'm gonna make you pay. You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys. He never understood a thing. Yeah, that's his still cutscene. Usually, when he said that, this is where like uh, there's some nasty action going on here. All right, I'm gonna use the, sta the stairs as my advantage here. I know that Sonny has crazy accuracy, but I'm gonna kill him first. There you go. He's dead. They all died.
Oh shit, kangaroos and bird just appear out of nowhere, man. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what happened? Wow, well, he looks older, man, right now. What does he look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, Tommy. It was a beautiful suit. It was the same as 15 years ago, man. What the hell? Tommy, what on earth happened? I have a disagreement with a business associate, and you know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I sent them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You call that World War III? You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never like it, that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's self-centered, the guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna get be getting any more heat from up north either. Cause there are no up north anymore, it's all down south now. Wait, does it mean what, what I think it means, Tommy, baby? What do you think it means? That we are in charge. I mean, that you are in charge. Oh, Tommy. You know, Ken, I think this is going to be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you are conniving, backstabbing, to be thief, and a convicted such a killer. And drug dealer. I know. Ain't it just beautiful? And yeah, like in few years, well, he just went outside. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my storyline. Thanks for playing and for the support. That's it. I mean, uh, Tommy kick uh, Ken Rosenberg out, so that uh, you know, CCCJ is gonna helping him later on in the during the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas uh, storyline. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much the animation. Thank you for watching. And see you next time, guys.